All right, guys, uh, we're going to be taking a look at some equilibrium calculations, including systems approaching equilibrium. In question number one, uh, we're asked to write an expression for the reaction above, uh, and then we're asked to solve for KEQ. So for question number 1a, our first step is to write the expression. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's always the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of each reactant raised to the power of the mm -hmm. coefficient in the balanced equation. So KEQ would be equal to our product, which is the substance AB, which is a gas raised to the power 2. And this is divided by the concentration of A2 and the concentration of B2. And these are all gases. Uh, it's often a good idea to include the state of matter. So recall that solids uh, and liquids are pure substances with constant composition. Their concentrations cannot change and they're factored into this constant. So for question number 1b, we're given the values for the concentration of AB. It is, just sub it in here. So AB is given as 0.67. Molarity, and that's squared. The concentration of A2 is given as 3.45. Molarity, and the concentration of B2 is given as 5.67 molarity. Now, so 0.67 squared, if we simplify that on the numerator, gives us 0 0.45 molarity squared. When we square the uh, number, we're also squaring the unit. And when we multiply denominator, that's 3.45 times 5.67, and we get 19.5615. That's Notice how our units will completely reduce. There will be no unit in our final answer. Our final answer here is that KEQ for this reaction is equal to 0, 0.0 uh, because we got only the two sig figs here, 2, 3, and there is no unit. 